Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a watermark into all your videos. In, in my other video, how to make a watermark, I showed you how to make a watermark and how to save it and everything. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put it in all of your Camtasia Studio videos. Now you are going to need Camtasia Studio. Uh, you can download a free trial at techsmith.com slash downloads. And I'll put that link in the description for you. But So what you do is you import your uh, your media which is uh, you want to import your video and after you're done recording your video it should automatically import it but if it doesn't you just go import media and then you can go to your video and find it so I'm going to go to my videos and I'm just going to import a couple of intros just to show you so after you're done you just put the intros into the timeline and now we're all done with our video editing let's say so now what we want to do is click produce video as and what we want to do is click add slash edit preset so click that and we're going to create a new one and we'll call this YouTube watermark and we're going to make this WMV for a Windows me media video click next Camtasia Studio best quality and file size next custom size got that down just click next again and this is where you include your watermark now just click the check this little box that says include watermark and then click options and up here you'll see this little folder thing just click that and wherever you save your watermark I saved mine in my pictures uh yes logos and just go down and find find your watermark make sure that it is a transparent background because otherwise the background is going to show but import your back and there it is import your watermark and it will be right there that's your little watermark preview window now I don't recommend using this emboss stuff or the transparent color but this opacity this is just to show you know how dark you want it if you want it to be like just cover up everything then you can have a hundred percent I usually keep mine around fifty so we'll just keep it there and then uh... preserve image size it'll keep it what the image actually is so in this case mine's gonna be about that big but the image scale is just how big you want it to be you can make it the whole screen if you want but it's usually good to keep it around twenty percent and the position you can just position it anywhere on the screen usually you put it in the bottom right hand corner but it's up to you and the horizontal offset is just to customize that even more just to move it off the corner you could even put it in the middle of the screen but usually five percent is the normal uh... preset so after you're done with that you just click OK and then after you're done you just click finish and then your video you just click uh, close and then you can go down here YouTube watermark and then it'll uh, render your video with that watermark and then you just click next uh, choose a title for your video next and finish and it'll render your video now this usually takes a long time depending on what uh, on what kind of uh, what kind of movie you're rendering it as either mp4 or wmv it'll take longer anywhere from you know five minutes to up to a half hour or forty five minutes so uh... just go ahead and do that and then you can upload it to youtube thanks for watching this video guys if you uh... enjoyed this video and thought it was useful then go ahead and subscribe to my videos and comment and also rate my videos and if you subscribe you'll get all my new videos and uh... be the first one to view them so thanks for checking out this video, guys. Bye.